Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 90 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. Hooray! Uh, today, working on Uranium-238, plus Green Slime Crystal, plus Cactus, plus Broccoli. Oh right, I don't have my angel ring on me. I had to wear my, my, my radiation suit. I'm like, why can't I fly? Oh, wait, I do have my angel ring on me. Angel ring, please. Uh, plus emeralds should equal this. Spark, spark, spark. Emeratic crystal block. Cactus cooked broccoli, uranium, and green slime crystal. Hold on, hold your horses. Not broccoli, mind you cooked broccoli which i presume i just smelt yeah cool that makes that, that that's that's easy uh i'm 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 doing lots and lots of auto crafting as you can probably tell uh so broccoli in this dude should be cooked broccoli cool that comes down here with the other smelting recipes. This one's one of them. Cool, okay, cooked broccoli is what we need for this. Um, so I am getting kind of all prepped and set. This is why we test things. You, you never know when you're gonna make a derp. And when you're me, you make a lot of derps. So um, now we want you to know that an emeratic crystal block, which we have to craft another one of, which is easy. I've been teaching a bunch of new recipes to my AE system. That's what I've been working on. Uh, so cactus, uh, slime crystal, which I just taught it how to make, cooked broccoli, which you know how to make now, and uranium 238. All these things come together uh, to make empowered you. Um, and you sit next to a crate. So all the other empowerment blocks go right there. Sweet. Uh, and then finally, I want you to know that you can turn into one of these. Nice. And that can be set up here. The reason I needed to do that is I am working on making solar panels. And one of the things we needed to make um, was this stuff. Cool. And now you know how to make a solar panel mark too. So that shouldn't be too bad. I, I kind of did some of this off camera and then I got to the point where I'm like, I think you guys should see just how much effort goes into making all this stuff. So to make a single solar panel mark two, these are all the ingredients that we're gonna need. Probably not too bad. And I'm gonna wanna make sure that nothing really is kind of a slow process here. Steel is required for the tier one solar panels. Um, so that is definitely gonna be one of the slower components of this. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna do real quick is like request like a lot of steel, like 600 steel. Uh, we're missing cold coke, of course we are. Uh, that's something I never did actually finish um, like or, or do much with. You know what else we could do? Well, no, that's not, that's probably a waste of power. I was thinking like I could make like steel blocks and dupe them or something, but that's probably not 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 what i want to do uh how is my coal do i have like a stack of it here i'd like to pop back to the old base where i've got a coke oven yeah okay cool yeah we're totally gonna need more coke um out of curiosity is there a better way to get coke uh so there's block of cold coke which is really just the coke oven that's like your only option or coke itself uh which is not you know ideal um Coke dust, yeah, so it doesn't look like there's like a better way to get Coke. So we might need to ramp up our Coke ovens a little bit or find a way to get that faster. Uh, but I guess for now, at the very least, we can get like 200 steel. Would that be too much to ask? Yeah, it doesn't sound too bad. Uh, so solar panel mark two. Some of the things I've discovered I'm like not automating because I've never really needed a lot of. So cool. Now for mark three, uh, you know how to make photovoltaic cells, right? Yes, cool. We've got that on AutoCraft. I remember setting that up for some reason. And we've even got, oh, that's the other photovoltaic, right? So we need a weather crystal. Um, 
So that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so weather crystal is too vibrant, too pulsating, and an ender crystal, right? Um, wow, look how much that sparkles. Cool. So pulsating, vibrant, and an ender crystal. So that all should be auto craftable pretty easily, right? You're making a soul vial of Enderman right now. Um, let's just check you real quick. Are you, do you have a capacitor in you? You do, Octodic, good. And you have an Octodic, good. Just making sure I didn't skip any Octodic capacitors, right? Uh, so you should know how to make this now. We're working on vibrant crystals at the moment. I assume that's a work in progress. I did request a vibrant. Oh, you know what? It probably used the one I requested. That probably happened. Cool. So that thing's gonna craft, and then this guy's gonna craft, and then we're good to go. So definitely, uh, some things and stuff need to be done. Right? Lots and lots of setting up auto crafts to get to the point where we have all the automation that we want. Right? So weather crystals should be craftable now. You have to make a few things, but that's not going to be a big deal. Uh, you can probably come off and go back onto this. Cool. So now we have a weather crystal, which is used to make one of these. So I should, in theory, be able to make a tier three solar panel right now. which is cool. So all that crafting will occur. Nice. We have a bunch of uh, steel because we already kind of pre-populated it. Beautiful. I love watching auto crafting occur because it's just like a culmination of all the automation that we set up um, and it is just awesome. So there's your tier three solar. Now that's tier three. We need to get up to a tier six in order to get the creative capacitor bank that we're working towards. Uh, so the next thing is an electric diamond, which shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so, and then photovoltaic cell twos. So an electric diamond, because that's already automated, so that's actually gonna be really easy. Um, and then photovoltaic cell V2, which is this. So we get that made, which is easy peasy. Right, so that's set. We can drop this guy in here. And since we've got one of those, we should now be good to go. We're gonna have to just make one real quick. That's not gonna be too hard. Has to make a few conductive iron. Well, it doesn't have to make them, it already had them. Beautiful. So there's tier four solar. Nice, we're, uh, we're getting there, guys. One step at a time. So now we can request a tier four solar panel. Sweet. And once we have that, we can make five and six. So how about off camera, I'll work on five and six unless something interesting comes up. By the way, you might've noticed in my hot bar, I had eight solar panel tier ones. Uh, so I'm gonna think about like 10 more of these, but for a solar panel tier two, we should be good uh, or getting close to good. Lots and lots of crafting's going on for that. That needs a lot of energetic and vibrant alloys. So that's gonna be a moment too. Okay, so that should be eight of those, which should be what I need for two of these. Cool, and then the last bit here is just that. So we're just waiting on the last solar panel here, which is getting cooked up. One more solar cell and we're good to go. Nice, so that's the tier four solar of that type that we need. Um, so many solar cells components from all the different mods that have solar panels come together to make this. Um, which is cool, actually. I kind of like that. So tier four solar controller, nice. That's cool. So now we are down uh, another one. So solar cell, did I get my solar cell tier four? Did that finish crafting? I assume it did while I was working on this. I'm kind of like working on multiple things at a time here. So now for you, uh, we need an irradiant reinforced plate and scenarium alloy. I'm pretty sure you know how to make that. And that. So these things are already on auto craft, which is cool. Uh, the scenarium alloy, I might need to peek over to my IC2 area. I've been making lots and lots of iridium. Oh, hey, I finished up my iridium production. Sweet. Uh, by the way, another thing I finished between episodes, if you count, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these dudes out here. So we do have the eight solars that we need. 
um, for the quantum solar panel. Now we just need a quantum core, which doesn't look so terrible. Uh, so I should be able to knock that out pretty easily here in a minute. Um, I'm just gonna let those sit out there and do their thing for a bit, but we've completed that as well. So this one's done. This one's a work in progress. This one's done. These three are done. So we have five uh, and a half, let's say, of the items. Vibrant photovoltaics. I remember these being like really easy. Um, so let's 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 take a look at that. Vibrant photovoltaics needs two octadics and an ender crystal and some advanced photovoltaics. Um, you need daylight sensors, so you're gonna need three of these. Um, and that shouldn't be too bad. Cool, back in a sec. Okay, one, two, three, daylight sensors for the advanced photovoltaic. We're gonna need six doubles, six vibrant, and six pulsating. So six doubles. Six pulsating. Six vibrants. Um, and what was the last bit there? Enlightened fused quartz, is that what we need? So I'm pretty sure enlightened fused quartz is just um, glowstone and nether quartz. I don't know that we're gonna need a lot of that. We're gonna need about six. So let's get like a stack and a stack and we'll just dump them into this guy together. Cool, and that should start boogieing. Enlightened fused quartz, nice. That'll just be like a manual craft. I don't know that we need a ton of it, so I'm not gonna set up auto crafting for it. So that should be cool, right? So now you, we got one, two, three. And now we just need an ender crystal, a dark fused quartz and two solarium. So two of you. We need two of you. An ender crystal and dark fused quartz is what? Four nether quartz and four ink sacks, which we might have. Should be easy. If you don't derp it up too much. So this is another one of the items we need. Cool, vibrant photovoltaic cells, nice. All right, cool, 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 cool. So we've got our solar panel Mark IV. Um, let's get, this might be ready for me to teach by now. Yeah, pretty close. So now we need to know how to make these. Um, this requires irradiant uranium and irradiant glass panes. Which both are also on AutoCraft, which is awesome. Um, because that makes it really easy um, to do this. Uh, uh, photovoltaic cells tier two. I, it doesn't really matter how many I craft. We're just gonna need one for now to teach the recipe. So that's not a terrible craft, right? Stored crafting three conductive iron. Nice. So much cool stuff. All right, so now you know how to make tier three photovoltaics, which we will make one of. Because we need it for the craft, remember? So now we know how to make a tier five solar. So we're getting there. We're one step away from the tier six solar that we need. So tier five five solar is there and I'm gonna make sure this one sits in there so that we've got that ready so tier five solar lots of crafting wow 41,000 bytes we don't have and we're missing flawless glass okay but that's a really complex crap isn't it <laughs> uh, flawless gla glass what is that um, that's from calculator um, we've been getting it from the analyzing chamber, so we're gonna have to teach it how to work. So it's a flawless calculator recipe. Do we even have one of those downstairs? You know what I'm gonna do? Um, it requires two flawless diamonds and two, I presume of any glass. So let's just make that by hand. We've got lots of 
lots of calculators here. Where's like the atomic one? Flawless calculator, there it is. Yeah, we've got a few, nice. We've been getting them randomly. It's a chance to get from the analyzing chamber, right? So that's cool. So one, two stacks of you. And let's put you in flawless crafting mode and we'll do that, 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 and that. And that'll get us four stacks of flawless glass, which will hopefully be enough for the time being. I don't think we need to have that on auto craft because once we're done with this, I don't think we'll need more. Solar panel mark five, cool. Now the only problem is we don't have a 64K craft process. So let's get one of those 64K um, needs uh, 16s. So let's get 16K, two more of you. Shouldn't be too bad to make. And then we'll make a 64K crafter just so we have it on hand. Cause all the ones down, I think, is it in my, what room is it in? Where did I put that stuff? Here, these are all 16Ks, right? Oh, we do have a 64K. Oh, you're in the middle of making sand. Well, there's your problem. Well, we'll make another 64K, it won't hurt. So 16Ks, they're a work in progress. So we'll be back in a minute when they're done. All right, solar tier five in progress, back when it's done. The number of things that need to craft here for this solar panel tier five is insane. It is pretty nuts. Um, but the tier five is probably the last one that I'll auto craft because uh, then we can get the tier six. We just need four tier fives, right? Uh, we might auto craft a few of these things, but the rest of it, I'll probably just let it go um, and, and, and manually create some of this stuff. So while all that's crafting, I'm working on my Neotech solar panels, um, which need empowered Inuri crystals and some glass. Um, bleh, of course, it needs glass. Glass is something that's currently being heavily worked on. Eh, maybe we'll come back when this is still done crafting. There we go. Uh, so basic solar is that. So I should be able to make one of those. So kind of the same process here. I don't think there's any big surprises. Um, we should now be able to make a Neotech solar panel, basic solar panel from Neotech, cool. And that's an advanced solar panel, which we now just taught you how to make from Neotech. What do these guys produce even? Neotech? I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea how much an advanced solar panel or an elite, like it doesn't tell me on the tool tip, so I don't know. Uh, what do I need for the elite while that's cooking? Uh, two stabilized ender pearls and an elite RF battery. That doesn't look terrible. So we need another advanced battery, which is easy. Uh, and then the elite solar needs an elite RF battery. Cool. Neat. I should really look into Neotech more. I didn't really give it any kind of... Uh, never really taught this thing how to make stabilized ender pearls. I really should. Just because I do wind up using them quite a bit. I don't know why I just never got around to doing that. So stabilized ender pearl, check. Nice. Okay, so you now need the four advanced solars, which I guess they're still being worked on. What are you waiting on? Uh, empowered and already stored one, crafting three. So once those guys are done, we will have our elite solar panel and then we can teach it how to make the elite solar panel. We'll maybe even place in the world just to see what it's all about and then we'll use it in crafting. Cool, so elite solar panel is now known how to craft and we will do that and we will now request one which will be another one knocked off the list of things needed. We need a bit more snow and then we will be good to go. Well, I can go get that in the old base. Easy peasy. Think I've got my magnet on me? Does that work? Elite solar panel? You know how to turn snow into snow, right? I guess not. For me. Elite solar panel, go. Back home. 
That's a lot of empowered Inuri blocks that we need. Uh, 22? Am I right about that math? Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Guess we'll be back in a minute. How perfect would it be, and I did dupe some steel blocks, if I could put this in here? That would have been perfect. Alas, not so much. All right, can I get another tier five solar? Uh, I am short on coal coke yet again. Missing a little bit of coal coke, but then we'll be there. Uh, I think, are you running still IC2 immersive engineering room? Yeah, you should be running. That should be cool. All right, that might get us the steel that we need uh, to make a second tier five solar, but we're gonna need a lot more coal coke before we can get two more tier five solars because it just needs a ton of steel, which frankly is not that easy to get at this stage. It just requires what we've been doing, right? There's no better, faster, easier way to get steel from what I can tell. Um, steel ingots, like maybe there's some like sneaky thing that I'm noting, like. Neotech has some steel, but I don't know how to get steel dust from Neotech. It looks like you can just grind steel in the crushers, right? So really no, like, neat tricks towards getting steel that I can find. So I forget when I did it, but I totally taught this thing how to make a solar generator once, didn't I? Uh, so for four of those, one, two, three, four, we should be able to get an advanced solar generator. Is that outside the realm of reach? It looks totally doable. Sweet. So that should actually be like, then we need an ultimate control circuit and some platinum ingots. We have platinum? I guess so. Ultimate control circuits? Okay. So technically, I think that pretty much gets me everything I need, right? So you're in progress, you're in progress for a bunch of stuff. Um, lots of things crafting. So technically, let, let's review where I'm at, right? I've got one of the four solar panel Mark Vs that we need. We're waiting on Cold Coke to get more of that. Uh, this is done. This is one of five, so this is 25% done. This is done, this is done, this is done, this is done. This is done, this is what we're working on now, and this is done. So really all that's left is the solar panel tier six, and then we'll have a creative capacitor bank. How awesome is that? Uh, that's actually really cool. We're not far away at all uh, for that to happen. So nice. Okay, uh, let's go check on our coal coke back at the old base. Because um, I will soon, what, I, what I've decided to do is this thing is just slow. Um, I'm debating if I want to make more coke ovens or just let this thing run for a bit. I don't know. How much exactly do I need for steel for a solar Mark V? Um, solar panel five in total needs how much steel? Available 120 to craft 51. So I need 171 steel for this guy in total. I could totally dupe a little bit of steel to get closer to that. We need 51 more for this current craft that we're waiting on. So you're pretty close. Is there like a better way to dupe some steel than just steel blocks at a time? I don't know. Let's get like three of you, right? And that'll bump us up to 12 blocks. I think we've got uh, the power to do three sets of dupes. 4.7, so that's literally enough to do exactly three sets of dupes for, for, for steel blocks. Um, and I presume that a solar Mark IV would not be dupable, right? If a Mark V isn't, I have to assume a four isn't, right? Because if a four was dupable, that would at least get me somewhat part of the way. We'll try it in a sec. If we can get a Mark IV in there, at least we're like a little bit better. But for the most part, I think it's just, we need steel um, and I can either dupe the steel or I can dupe the coal coke. It doesn't matter because it's one coal coke per piece of steel, right? So back in a minute. I might have found something. An electric alloyer can combine two metals. 
with redstone flux. Do I have a draconic? You hickey. Yeah, you have plenty of wireless things available. Good. Cool. So you've got power. Uh, electric alloyer. We can get some upgrades into this, dude. Um, but steel, there's molten steel somewhere. Molten steel can be made by combining molten iron and, mol and liquid carbon in an electric alloyer. So molten iron is made in an electric crucible. Um, which we have one of? Yes. Um, and then molten carbon or liquid carbon is also made in an electric crucible. So what we could do, I wonder how fast this could be, is really my ultimate question. So could I get an electric crucible? Uh, another one? How, how hard was that to make? Not hard at all if I have another stabilized ender pearl. So that seems doable, right? Um, now the other thing we're gonna want if this is going to be good and fast for us is some upgrades. So all I put in here was an octa-core capacitor and a network card. And I think the network card is what allowed me to auto output to the side. So can I get another one of those octa-cores capacitors? This, this, this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wireless out of range. Of course it is, because why wouldn't it be? Put these away, four, put these away, two, octa-core capacitor, and a network card. I forget what the purpose of that was, but I think it was something like network card from Neotech. Cool. I think it was something like auto output to the side or something. So back to it's the draconic room that this stuff is in, right? So if we popped this dude down, right? And uh, we're not gonna want you to actually be connected here. So that's cool. Okay. So you're gonna need power as well. So if we got coal, wireless out of range, because of course it is. Why do you keep popping out, you piece of junk? All right, so um, you're gonna get the octa-core and the network upgrade. And I forget how we specified how that network upgrade works. Allows you to configure the, oh, there it is, right. So you're going to, you are a weird UI, mister. What if I stood on this side? I think that's what we want to do. If we stand on this side, that, and then let's get an octa-core and an upgrade in here as well. So we'll want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, one, one of these and an ender pearl for a network upgrade. I don't know if I need it, um, but you're gonna get them. And then you will be blue. So like, let's throw four of you in there uh, and that should quickly start getting power and then it'll be fine. So that went into that, right? And now if we put four of you into there, because if this can auto craft steel for me in a faster method than what I've been doing, that would be cool, right? And now you are making molten steel, neat. Now, can you dump into the electric solidifier? I assume as much, but you might need a network card.
network card for the electric solidifier and configure you. Did we just get a bunch of steel? Because that's really fast and awesome. Um, let's configure you on the back for blue, right? And what I'm going to do is get a chest. Actually, do we have a crate handy? No, a chest will do. An interface. And I guess an item conduit for now, because we do want this to be somewhat fast. But basically what I'd say is you east is going to be disabled, up, extract always active, south, insert, right? So if we said, hey, one coal, where's my central area? So let's do one coal plus one iron equals steel. What steel type did we just get? I think it makes this one, right? Let's confirm that. One and one. So if you're set to that, molten steel. How did you get in there as molten steel? How did you get in there as molten steel? That's weird. How did that happen? Did you automatically turn into molten steel in the crucible? No. So you're blue on that side. You should be orange on that side, right? So I don't know how you turn into molten steel. Can I just break you? Electric alloy, and please, yes, reset, nice. Cool, okay. So let's try that again. So you're gonna need that and that. So you're pushing from that side, and you're pulling from that side. So in theory, you may not need to be sided, but let's find out. So you plus you. Liquid carbon, liquid iron. And did you just make a steel? I think you did. Refined iron ingot from Tech Reborn. Oh, you made molten steel. Hold on. Um, Molten steel turns you into that. Okay, hold on. Electric solidifier. Block of refined iron. Refined iron ingot from Tech Reborn. But apparently, casting molten steel will get us a steel ingot from IC2. Okay, cool. So if we cast it in its liquid form... So that's a thing. Okay, so you're basically turning into let's 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 do something real quick here. Uh, you extract never active. Just want to verify this. You plus you that, and then we get our thing here: molten iron and liquid carbon, and we're getting refined iron ingots. Okay, cool. So we've got a little bit of carbon left. So let's do that. How much carbon do we get here now? So that's actually like really fast if we can actually get it to make steel, right? Um, so one and one, that becomes, just verifying all the math on this, 144 and 144 equals that. So we're not going to want you to actually dump into the electric solidifier, right? Because um, that makes refined iron ingots, which are used for, you know, tech reborn stuff. But we can use the molten steel to solidify. Let's see, molten steel. I want to see if there's any faster way to solidify it. Uh, molten steel from Tinker's Construct is made in here, right? So this stuff is usable, 
Uh, we can bottle it. Uh, electric solidifier makes refined iron. Block of refined iron from Tech Reborn, which doesn't have a texture. That's Tech Reborn's refined iron, right? Um, or we can just cast it. That's pretty much our only option is to cast it. To make steel. So let's get like a super tiny thing for that. So riddle me this. Right. We have this here. Now this is like kind of sloppy, but it should get the point across, right? I should be able to pipe your drain, smeltery drain, so you should be able to connect here. Why are you no connect? You should be able to pipe in and out the smeltery drain. Can't you? How about transfer liquid transfer nodes? Oh, you know what? I'm missing the actual yet, yeah, derp. Hold on. You're not an actual multi-block yet. I knew I was forgetting something. Can you form without the smeltery tank? No, you can't. Okay, I was hoping I could do that without the whole smeltery bit. Uh, but the smeltery tank, seared tank, should be doable. Just need a single piece of glass, which I never have enough of. Remember I've been saying we should get around to making the cobble works? Yeah. GG, Dyer. GG. So that might be small enough. So you're like a super small smeltery, but hopefully this will be good enough. Good. All right. So on the south side, you'll be insert, and on the downside, you'll be extract always active, right? So if we put um, one coal and one iron into this chest, that should still solidify into steel over here. And that should be piped directly into here. Sweet. Okay, that's cool. One ingots of molten steel. Nice. Yeah, capacity is eight. So we've got one ingots of molten steel. Now, if we piped it into a basin, which would probably be your fastest, right? So extract and down is insert. You will get that. So if we teach the recipe... Um, nine of each, right? Um, or we could do probably blocks worth. I mean, it technically doesn't matter. I think blocks would work though, right? A block of iron plus a block of coal in this chest should equate to a steel block. Um, and then we can use item conduits So on the north you're going to be disabled on the south you're going to be extract always active and on the This you can be insert cool, so let's try it right a block of iron plus a block of coal You melted down perfectly and you melted down perfectly and then you converted pretty quickly into molten steel, which is then piped into here. This fills up and we've got a steel block. How cool is that? I like that a lot. That is way faster than what we've been doing up until now. Um, so that is a thing that is cool. Um, okay, so let's do, do we have coal blocks? We do. Do we have iron blocks? We do. So then we teach the recipe, coal block plus iron block equals steel block. And we may need an interface for this, but that's all we need. So an interface for this goes here. Um, we have plenty of channels coming out of this guy. That guy's using five at the moment, so I can easily tap another channel into this. Yeah, the episode's running long, but I came up with something really cool to build. And then we put this pattern in here. Now we go back to our central area. We will we look for anything that's making steel. 
Um, so the blast furnace makes that. So you know how to make steel blocks. You know how to make steel ingots. We're going to take steel ingots out of there. Cool. And then uh, what I'll just say is that you can make... Uh, so I'm going to probably just clear this pattern. And then we will teach you steel blocks yield that. And you can go in there. Cool. Um, and let's take this guy, put him in here, and say allow substitutions, right? So or dictionary substitutions are now allowed for those things. Cool. So no longer are we gated by coal coke. I should now be able to ask for a solar panel tier five. Missing 58 steel ingots. You need steel for what? Something somewhere. One of these things must need steel somewhere. I don't know which part of it needs steel, but something needs steel, and it's on a non-substitution method. Uh, I will look. I will be right back. All right, I think I fixed it. I just told it specifically which solar or which which type of steel to use. So you should be good to go now. So you have to craft 15 steel blocks. Sweet. Start that bad boy up. And if we pop over to our draconic area, we should see steel block crafting hopefully in progress here at some point soon. Does it say crafting steel blocks anywhere? Scheduled. Where's the steel block part of this? Block of iron stored, block of coal stored. You're not on blocking mode or anything, right? Yeah, you're ignoring. So yeah, hey, look, it's running, cool. Nice, it's going. Dude, it's working. That is awesome. That is beautiful. All right, so wrapping up point for the episode, we'll come back next episode and we will have um, the, the last of the solar panels that we need because now we've made it easier to make steel. Um, I was worried I'd have to make like a ton of cold coke, but no, this is way easier. Uh, so for now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time uh, to complete this little task. All right, guys, take it easy.